Hello guys, I'm Akshay and welcome back to AppDNA where we talk about all things apps. This time we're going to take a look at an application that will help retailers, wholesalers and a lot of other businesses. Many businesses still use spreadsheets or books to keep a tab on their orders. The problem with this system is that spreadsheets are very clumsy when it comes to interface and when it comes to a pen and paper system, it is very much prone to human errors. So, we are going to build a comprehensive order management application that will help you keep track of orders, place orders and also take a look at the remaining stocks in your inventory. We'll be building the application with the help of Zoho Creator, which is a low-code application development platform. The easy-to-use interface, minimal coding and the drag-and-drop features of Zoho Creator will help you make applications quick and easy. So without further ado, let's get started. The home page of Creator, which is the Create Application page. We're going to create the application from scratch. Let's name it Order Management. We are the builder of our application. First things first, we have to make the add stock form, which will enable us to add the stocks to the database. We'll drag and drop a single line field for the product name, the date field, the number field for quantity, and the currency field for rate. So we're going to come back to this particular form as we have to add two lookup fields. So we'll keep this on hold and we'll go to our next form. Our next form is the add an employee form. Since we have already have a database for stocks, now it's important for us to have a database for employees and the suppliers. So let's click on a new form. We'll name it as add an employee. So here we're going to drag and drop all the basic fields such as name, email, phone number, and address. Obviously, you could add more fields depending on your employee database and the need. We're going to do the same for suppliers. We'll be dragging and dropping all the basic information fields here as well. We'll go back to the add stock form and we'll add the two lookup fields, which is from the add a supplier form and add, add an employee form. We'll also need an employee in charge. So we will use the employee name field. So we are done with the basic forms. Just to make the next form which is the add a customer form the fields will be similar to what we have done with the add supplier form and the employee form we'll add the basic information fields like email phone number name and address also when it comes to your application you can add more fields according to your needs now we're going to create the final and the most important form of this application, which is the place and order form. This is where all the work's going to get done. Let's get started with it. So at first we're going to drag and drop a lookup field, which will be the customer name. Then we'll be dragging and dropping another lookup field to assign this particular order to an employee. So we'll rename it as something like handled by. We have to have the order dates in the record. So we'll give it as order date. We also need an expected delivery date. So we'll give it as delivery date. And finally, a number field for the tracking. So we are almost done building this particular form. But don't you think that this form lacks something very important? Yes, it is a fact that we have not yet made something that would help us place an order. So we'll be dragging and dropping a sub form which would help us place the order and we'll be adding a couple of fields. So we'll be doing a lookup field which will be the product name. So we'll use the product name from the add stock form and we'll rename the field name. We would have to add a couple of more fields. So the next field is the rate per unit field, which is also a lookup. We 
name it as cost per unit. Now it's time for us to add a number field which will record the quantity of the product. So if now it's time for us to add a couple of more fields. We'll be adding a number field to record the quantity. We'll be adding the currency field as well so that the total is automatically created here. We'll be doing a couple of deluge coding for the same. So it's time for us to create three exact workflows now. It will help us in calculating the total amount of each order. It will also help in calculating the remaining stocks in your inventory. So let's get started with it. So we'll be creating our first workflow and we'll be choosing it on place an order form. Let's name our workflow as workflow one. Here we're going to add a new action and it is a custom action. We'll be doing it on user input and we'll be selecting the product name field. So what we're going to do here is we're going to assign the value of the product name field with the cost per unit field. The cost per unit is a number field and the product field is a single line field. Let's refer the field. The cost per unit field is equal to or w dot the product name field. We're actually done with the first line of code or the first workflow we could say. Now it's time for us to add a new action. It's a custom action on user input and the field this time is a quantity field. You could say that there are two main objectives behind this particular custom action. One is to calculate the total amount of a particular order. The other is to throw up an alert message whenever the order quantity is higher than what is remaining in the inventory. So we'll start with product with a variable. We add a stock form. ID is equal to row dot product name. If product dot quantity lesser than equals row dot now it's time for us to do the alert message so here we need to show how much is remaining in the inventory so we'll be writing only plus product rec dot quantity plus left in the inventory row dot quantity equals so now it's time for us to do the else part we have done the if part of our coding we're going to type else row dot total is equal to product rec dot cost per unit multiplied by row dot quantity so i'll explain to you guys what is exactly happening in this particular code so we are calculating the total by multiplying the cost per unit with the quantity we have all also done coding for the alert part which shows only how much ever is remaining left in the inventory here we are done with two basic workflows. Now it's time for us to do final custom action. Let's save it and add a new action. Before we do the final workflow, we need to name the subform, which we didn't do earlier. We'll name it as choose the product. For us to add the next custom action, we'll be adding a new action on success this time for each subform. Product rec is the collection. We're choosing the add stock form. As we have given for each here, we can type sub form here dot product rec dot quantity equals product rec dot quantity minus sub form dot 
So what we have done here is that we are calculating the remaining stock in the inventory. So what we have done is product Deck dot quantity minus subform dot quantity. It is calculating the remaining stock after an order has been placed. Let's save this particular workflow. We have saved it. So we are done building the application. Now it's time for us to put the application to a test. So what I am doing here is that I'm filling up all the necessary information in all the forms so that we can place an order and put the app to a test. So let's give the product name as Awesome Pets. We'll add the date as 1st February, 100, cost per unit $1, supplied by one supplier and handled by one of the staffs. So we have added the necessary data in that stock form. Now it's time for us to place an order. So we'll choose the customer, the employee, the order date, expected delivery date, tracking number, now it's time for us to choose the product, the product that the customer have requested. So we have already given it as awesome pens and the cost per unit automatically calculated over here. Now we have to choose the quantity, let's say 25 and the total is automatically calculated as 25. The data has been added successfully. Now guys, this happened because of the first two custom actions that we did in the workflow. It is important to notice that we had done a third custom action and this was for us to calculate the remaining stock in the inventory. So we have to go ahead to the add stock report to see whether it is working. And yes, the quantity is correctly reflected here as 75. We have given an order of 25 pence and the quantity remaining is 75. So guys, we are done with the order management application. It is important to notice that this is a very basic structure. With Zoho Creator, you can add more bells and whistles, more features to the application according to your needs. Also, if you're using a similar structure to what I have done over here, you could create a separate form just for product information rather than including it in the ad stock form. This way you wouldn't need to edit the ad stock report each time you need to add a new stock to the same product. So that's it guys, we are done building our order management application. I hope you had fun as much as I did. And also as I've mentioned earlier, you can add a lot of other features to your application. And if you want to know more about Zoho Creator or the applications that you can build with it, please take a look at our channel and do subscribe to it. Thank you for hanging out with me. Till next time, goodbye.